Gladys May Aylward was a British evangelical Christian missionary to China, whose story was told in the book, The Small Woman, by Alan Burgess, published in 1957. In 1958, the story was made into the film The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, starring Ingrid Bergman. Although the movie was produced by 20th Century Fox, it was filmed entirely in North Wales and England. Early life, Aylward was born to a working-class family in Edmonton, North London, in 1902. Her parents were Thomas John Aylward and Rodina Florence Aylward. Her siblings were Lawrence and Violet. Although she became a domestic worker at an early age, she always had an ambition to go overseas as a missionary and studied with great determination to be fitted for the role, only to be turned down because her academic background was inadequate, and the China Inland Mission to which she applied was convinced that it was not possible to learn the language at her age. Her determination was such that, in 1932, she spent her life savings on a passage to Yangkeng, Shaanxi Province, China. The perilous trip took her across Siberia, where she was forced to get off the train she was on and walk to her destination. Work in China, on her arrival in Yangkeng, Aylward worked with an older missionary, Jeannie Lawson, to found the Inn of the Six Happinesses. For a time she served as an assistant to the Chinese government as a foot inspector by touring the countryside to enforce the new law against foot-binding young Chinese girls. She met with much success in a field that had produced much resistance, including sometimes violence against the inspectors. Aylward became a Chinese citizen in 1936 and was a revered figure among the people, taking in orphans and adopting several herself, intervening in a volatile prison riot and advocating prison reform, risking her life many times to help those in need. In 1938, the region was invaded by Japanese forces, and Aylward led over 100 orphans to safety over the mountains, despite being wounded herself. She never married. She returned to Britain in 1948, where, after ten years she sought to return to China. However, she was denied re-entry by the communist government and instead settled in Taiwan, in 1958. There she founded the Gladys Aylward Orphanage, where she worked until her death in 1970. The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, a film based on her life, The Inn of the Sixth Happiness, was released in 1958. It drew from the book The Small Woman, by Alan Burgess. Although she found herself a figure of international interest, thanks to the popularity of the film and television and media interviews, Aylward was mortified by her depiction in the film and the many liberties it took. The tall, Swedish actress Ingrid Bergman was inconsistent with Aylward's small stature, dark hair and cockney accent. The struggles of Aylward and her family to affect her initial trip to China were disregarded in favor of a movie plot device of an employer condescending to write to his old friend Jeannie Lawson. Also, Aylward's dangerous, complicated travels across Russia and China were reduced to a few rude soldiers, after which, Hollywood's train delivered her neatly to Tsientsin. Many characters and place names were changed, even when these names had significant meaning such as those of her adopted children and of the inn, named for the Chinese belief in the number eight as being auspicious. Colonel Lanan was portrayed as half-European, a change which she found insulting to his real Chinese lineage, and she felt her reputation was damaged by the Hollywood embellished love scenes in the film. Not only had she never kissed a man, but the film's ending portrayed her character leaving the orphans to rejoin the colonel elsewhere even though in reality she did not retire from working with orphans until she was 60 years old. Death and Legacy Aylward died on January 3, 1970, just short of her 68th birthday, and is buried in a small cemetery on the campus of Christ's College in Guindu, New Taipei, Taiwan. She was known to the Chinese as E. Permel Three Quarters of Permel of Three Quarters. Shortly after her death, an Edmonton secondary school, formerly known as Weir Hall, was renamed, Gladys Aylward School, in her honor. Numerous books, short stories and films have been developed about the life and work of Gladys Aylward. See also, Francis Young Gusband, Notes. References, Hero Tales by Dave and Nita Jackson, These Are My People by Mildred T. Howard, Further Sources, Archives, The Archive of Gladys Aylward is held at the School of Oriental and African Studies, London. HTTP, 
www.soas.acrcarchives bibliography Bibliography, The Inn of the Sixth Happiness A Euro feature film, Gladys Aylward, The Small Woman with a Great God A Euro documentary, Torchlighters, The Gladys Aylward Story A Euro animated DVD for children ages 8 A Euro 12, External links, Biography of Gladys Aylward, An Anecdote on How the Book Came to be Written, Photos of the Inn of Eight Happinesses at Yangkeng.